Most people think Windows 11 is the worst Windows version ever because of the crazy system requirements and a lot of AI stuffs in it, but it isn't the worst Windows version because you can still make it work for you. You can bypass the system requirements, you can debloat it, you just need to tinker some things in the system and you can make the Windows 11 usable. Remember Windows 8? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you one story. Back in 2012, I bought my first computer. It was a laptop. It had two gigabytes of RAM and it was running Intel Celeron or something. It was like really cheap and really slow laptop. It came with Windows 7 and I used it for a couple of months. And later at the end of uh, 2012, I think it was in October, the Windows 8 was released. I saw the trailer and I was like, I need to install this. This looks really cool and that was a big mistake and this was the only windows version that i actually didn't use i went back to windows 7 and there was one more problem with this operating system at that time at least for my device when i was installing the windows 8 i had an error that windows 8 doesn't support this screen resolution you need minimum 720p screen resolution 1280 by 720 and i think my laptop's resolution was lower than that so i had to look up on the internet how to fix this and all that and i found out that you can edit the registry and entry and somehow make the resolution bigger so the windows 8 will work and all that and i did it and i used it for a couple of days and i went back to windows 7 after that it was a disaster <laughs> as an operating system just imagine going from windows 7 to windows 8 this was a big change okay there was no start menu yeah, this is the start menu and there are new types of applications. Uh, Microsoft called them a uh, Metro application at that time. And uh, I don't know how to close them. For new user, it was just again, disaster. This is a photos application here and there is no close button. Unless you go over there, sometime you can see it, sometime you don't. You go back to desktop and then hover your mouse over there. Then you have to go back to the uh, desktop or to the start. It's not even start menu. It's just start. Okay, they even changed the name of the start menu. I mean, there is no start menu. It's just nothing. <laughs> so here, this is how you had to close the applications, the modern applications. You'll find them at the top when you hover your mouse there you right click and you'll see the close button that's how you close the application there is nothing to like about windows 8 actually okay i'm gonna open a couple of applications opening new application going back to the start is also like headache sometime you misclick oh you couldn't see the cursor i fixed it now you can see it okay my bad you have to go into the corner it's not start menu anymore what is that Oh, it's an application. Now it's a start menu. Now if I go back there, it's not a start menu. Now if I go at the top, now I have this weird thing opened. Now I know how many applications are there opened. The modern one. Okay, you can see I have the store and desktop open. Desktop isn't an application. What happened to the other applications? Okay, let me open more of these. So you can see there is no close button, no nothing, no back button, no close, no maximize, no minimize. So at that time, these applications would run in full screen. I have to go here. I can switch to that application, which I don't know. There is no name. I can see the preview, which is not clear. Just don't know which application that is. Unless I click on it, now I know what that application is. Now, if I move my cursor a little bit down, now I can see a list of all the applications opened in the background. Now, I wanna go back to the desktop, the normal traditional desktop. You have to look closely. The desktop is also is in the application menu, so you have to click on it now you go back to the desktop there is no start menu button if you want to go back to the start you have to hover your mouse over there then you go back if you want to go desktop you, you click on it and you go back this felt like i'm using two operating systems at the same time <laughs> okay now we have traditional windows applications which work similarly to the windows 7 there is no issue with that but for most desktop users 
these new applications were just useless. At that time, Microsoft was like, we're going to make a operating system touch friendly because at that time the touch devices were getting really popular, like the tablets and whatnot. So Microsoft was like, I'm going to join the race. Yay. Let's make the windows touch friendly and also remove the start menu. So they will be forced to use touch interface. And most people at that time had traditional windows desktop, like the laptops without any touch or the desktop without any touch. They use the mouse and keyboard. Again, as I said, I didn't use Windows 8 at all. I tried it and I went back to Windows 7 in a couple of days, actually. It was just really bad operating system for traditional desktop and laptop users. Still to this date, this is a really bad operating system. If that's not enough, if you go and hover your mouse to the right side now you get even more options you'll see a start menu button now <laughs> which was removed but somehow it's back i don't understand what microsoft was trying to do at that time now we have a search function too we didn't even talk about the search can we get the search in start i don't see it maybe i'm blind but search is not here you, you just can't search anything in here okay <laughs> if you don't look at the documentation or tutorials you're just lost yeah let's click on search let's see what happens oh what <laughs> full app list where did it come from can i not do this in start menu let's see uh i don't see app list or anything now we have a settings option oh okay this this isn't that bad actually pc info control panel it's gonna open the control panel okay and we have another thing here change pc settings okay let's change some pc settings so this was the first modern windows uh settings like we have in the windows 10 and 11 but worse this one is like completely useless <laughs> it wasn't useful at all and again this app also cannot be resized closed or minimized to do that again you have to go over there switch to different app or do this to see all the apps opened and then you have to go back to the start menu and then to get to the desktop you'll have to click on the desktop icon this is too much <laughs> but there was one good thing about windows 8 it felt faster than windows 7 but because of the removal of start menu for a traditional desktop use case it just wasn't a good operating system so i actually didn't use this even though i wanted to use it it was just a confusing operating system for people coming from windows 7 and after a year the windows 8.1 was released in 2013 and this one was a little bit better it had a start menu button yeah, that's it. <laughs> but the start menu was still not here. <laughs> the Metro apps were there, but I think they were improved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Now we have a close button. We don't have the minimize button and we still can't resize them, but we can minimize them and we can see them in our taskbar. So before in Windows 8, you know the, that thing is still here okay i think this is good for the touch devices so that thing is still here you can switch in between uh okay sometime it works sometime it doesn't work it's just confusing uh but you got the idea it was better the metro applications were now usable and the start menu was also improved now we have this down arrow which actually lists all the applications that you have on your system. And there is the search thingy. The Windows 8.1 was actually usable. Now, I know many people hate Windows 11. The most common reason is that the system requirements are crazy. Because of that, you know, most people can't upgrade or install Windows 11 on their devices. But you can still make Windows 11 work for your computer. You can bypass the system requirements. You can also bypass the Microsoft account requirement and you can just use it. It's not that bad. At least it's not 
as bad as the Windows 8. But I agree that the Windows versions are getting slower and slower. Okay, the newer versions like the latest Windows 11 actually feels really slow compared to Windows 8. Okay, here is a comparison. So this Windows 11 is in VM. There isn't much on the system. If I try to open File Explorer, okay, this is how it opens. If I try to open Microsoft Store, this is how much time it takes. Again, File Explorer. Now, if you compare this speed with Windows 8.1 or 8, they are basically the same thing. Just look at this. Everything feels much smoother and faster, okay? Maybe the reason, there are too many things running in the background. Even the task manager opens like super quickly in Windows 8. Now, if I try to do this in Windows 11, yeah, it just takes some time. And uh, in Windows 11, you, you can see there are almost like 40, not exactly, but let's just say 40 background processes running in the background. Okay, if we go into the Windows 8, there are only 14, let's just say 15 processes running in the background. So there is a lot more happening in the background in newer versions of Windows. In terms of performance, Windows 11 is worse. I think the best version of Windows was the Windows 7. If you have a decent computer, the experience should be good. We have the start menu and everything. Yeah, it's more modernized and there are a few things changed, but the change is not that drastic as the Windows 8. Windows 8, again, was a disaster. Can't wait for the Windows 12 actually. Remember when the Windows 10 was in active development? Microsoft once said that Windows 10 will be the last version of Windows. But later in 2021, the Windows 11 came out, which shocked the world because of the system requirements. That is actually the most common reason why Windows 11 is hated so much. But again, you can make it work for your computer if you do some tinkering here and there so it's not again as bad as the windows 8 and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to talk about the windows versions or anything like that you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye